step-by-step -step process to get green card on H-2A a temporary agricultural worker visa. Here is a step-by-step -step process for obtaining a green card from an H-2A temporary agricultural worker visa in the United States, along with some general information on the visa process and immigration guidance. Step 1. Obtain an H-2A temporary agricultural worker visa. Find an employer in the United States who is willing to sponsor your visa application. This employer must establish that there are not enough you. Workers available to fill the temporary agricultural job. The employer must file a petition, Form I-129, with the U. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, on your behalf. This petition should include a job offer, labor certification, and other required documentation. If the petition is approved, you will receive a Notice of Approval, Form I-797, from USCIS. Step 2. Apply for a green card. While you are in the United States on the H-2A visa, you can apply for a green card, permanent residence, through employment-based immigration. Your employer must initiate the green card process by filing a petition, Form I-140, with USCIS on your behalf. This petition should demonstrate that your employment is permanent and that you meet the necessary qualifications. After the petition is approved, you can proceed with the green card application. This typically involves filing an application for adjustment of status, Form I-485, with USCIS. Along with the application, you will need to submit supporting documents such as your birth certificate, passport, medical examination results, proof of financial support, and other relevant evidence. Pay the required application fees and biometric services fee. Attend an in-person interview at a USCIS field office. During the interview, the officer will assess your eligibility for the green card. Step 3. Wait for the green card approval. USCIS will review your application and conduct background checks. If approved, you will receive a green card, granting you lawful permanent residence in the United States. If your application is denied, you can appeal the decision or explore other legal options. It's important to note that the process may vary slightly depending on individual circumstances, and it is advisable to consult an immigration attorney or seek professional guidance to ensure accurate and up-to-date information specific to your situation. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.